Okay, we're gonna continue on with the artificial light. Last time we just did something like this, just kind of to introduce the concept of the light bulb as the light angle vanishing point and the ground line vanishing point being directly um, 90 degrees to the surface that the objects are on. So let's do something a little more elaborate and we'll build a room, a one point perspective room and we'll put some furniture in the room and then we'll add a light bulb and cast some shadows on it. So this first part is just going to be kind of a throwback to our one point perspective. Uh, so I'm just going to go through and, and measure some things and we'll make the room and the objects really specific and sizes and in, in specific places. So if, uh, what we do with this first part, if it's not making sense to you, then you need to go back and watch those one point perspective videos. Okay, let's, here's our diagram. And um, I'm just gonna be making these things kind of up on the fly. So we'll see how it comes out. So let's make a room. We'll make it uh, 10 units wide. Each one of these are units and they can stand for any measurement you want them to be. So we'll make the room uh, 10 units wide and we'll be, let's make it um, the viewer six units from the left wall. So here is where the viewer's looking, the center vision, and here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's six units to the left, and then one, two, three, four. Here's four units to the right. So we have a room now that is 10 wide. And these lines go back to the center vision. I'm just gonna do the footprint of the room first. And let's make, so here's 10 wide, and the room now goes to infinity. Let's make the room, um, let's make it like 13 units deep. And I could use, there's a lot of different options for this. Um, boy, there's a lot of different ways to do what we're going to do. And I, to do all the different ways to approach something like this would be just be so many different videos. So... There's multiple ways to approach perspective problems. So I'm gonna make this zero and count over here's 10, 11, 12, 13, so here's 13. And then I'm going to this measuring point over here. And there's 13, from here to here, 13. And then from this point, it's, that gives me the back of the room. So now I have a room 10 wide, 13 deep, and the viewer is uh, six units from that left wall. Let's make the room, the height of it. Let's make it, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go nine up. So there's nine units tall. And then from here, it is just connecting dots. There's our room. So let's draw some things inside the room. Let's put a let's put a table, we'll put a shelf, and we'll put a cabinet in the room. We'll have three things. Okay, let's do the the table first. So um let's make the table let's make it um two units to the right of this left wall. And we already have this one marked zero. So there's one, two, there's two to the, to the right of this wall. And then let's make the table, uh, let's make it two units wide. So we add another two. And we want to make the table, let's make the table three units behind the front wall. So I'm going to now relabel this zero and go one, two, three. Measuring point. And it hits there. So 
So this is three. And let's make the table, um, what would five look like? We made it five deep um, here. So I'm gonna make this zero and count one, two, three, four, five. There's five, so five deep. It is two wide. It's three behind the picture plane. And so here, this would be the footprint of the table on the ground. So let's make it, what if we made it, what about four? We come vertically, let's see what four looks like. You have to measure here at the picture plane and come here's one two three let's make it three i want to see that four brings it like pretty close to the horizon line so i'm going to see a little bit more of the top of the table so we'll just make it one two three tall you have to measure up at the picture plane and then you do all you do all your measurements at the picture plane and you project them back Here's our table. Then it's just connecting dots. Vertical lines go straight up. Lines that go back in space go to the center of vision. And horizontal lines straight across because this is one point perspective. So here's our table. Let's do the, let's make a shelf. We'll put a shelf over here and we'll make the shelf I don't know, maybe this was three units back. Let's make it two units back. So I'm gonna, again, here's my, here's zero on this line. And here's one, two. Go to measuring point. And this is two. And let's make the shelf, um, we made this five. Let's make the shelf um, six. We'll make this six deep. So I'm gonna make this zero. And yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's six. And then to this measuring point. And there's six. From here to here is six. Let's make the shelf, um, make it a thin shelf. Let's just make it uh, one unit wide. So we just come over one. And back to the center vision. I'm drawing this shelf on the ground because that's where my measuring line is. It's, it's on the ground. So it's I like just measuring everything on the ground. And uh, I could just keep my measuring line right where it is and I don't have to move it around. So here's my shelf. It was sitting on the ground. So let's um, raise it up. And we'll just like kind of we did here, three. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll make it um, seven will come up seven units. It'll be seven units off the ground. So I'm just gonna, it's, it's gonna be attached to this wall. So I just measure up along this wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. And now I just project up what I've done here on the ground. I can just project these up. There is six wide, this is two, this is six, and this is one wide. So this is going to go straight across like that. This one will go straight across. And then this goes to center vision. It's just a, just a one line, the thickness of this pencil. So if we wanted to make it, um, to give the shelf some thickness, we could come over here and we wanted something specific we could just measure that distance here here's like half a unit and then bring that back and then connect dots kind of a thick shelf now if it's something like really thin like you don't usually need to measure something like that. 
I just wanted to give it a little bit of a thickness. So now we have um, half of unit, uh, one unit, and six units. And one last thing, let's do a cabinet. Let's see, change colors again. To about, ah, oh, here, violet. Okay, let's make the cabinet, um, let's see, this was two and this was one. Let's make it three deep. It's gonna be a thick cabinet. So one, two, three. Mm, I'm gonna change my mind. Let's make it two, because it's gonna be too, really close here. I wanna see some of the, like the front of the cabinet more. So I'm gonna make this the same thickness as this uh, table. So we'll go two and here's the thickness of the cabinet. And we'll make this cabinet, let's make it um, four back in space. So I'm gonna switch sides over here because this cabinet is attached to this wall. I'm gonna stick it up to the top and attach it to the ceiling. So I have something on the floor, I have something attached to this left wall, and I'm gonna have something attached to the ceiling. So here's um, two, and we wanted it four back in space. So I'm gonna, put my zero here on this back corner. And one, two, three, four. And switching measuring points. So there's four. And then um, let's make the cabinet uh, three deep. So here's four. And I want three additional three. So this is gonna come over here and be my zero. One, two, three, count over three to here and then go to the measuring point. And here's three, an additional. So this is four, this is three. And here's my cabinet. It's kind of thin, sitting here on thinner than I thought it was gonna be, sitting here on the floor. And then I'm gonna project it up to the ceiling. So I want it attached up here. vision. Okay, so now, well, this would be a cabinet that went from the floor to the ceiling, but I want it to um, not be, uh, this is one that's going to hang from the wall. So let's make the height of this, let's make it, um, let's try, let's try two and see how that looks. So here's one, two. Bring that back. So this is a square. And then just connecting dots. So a little bit of a review of one point perspective. So here we have room, one point perspective. We have three objects and we're gonna add a light bulb to this room and then cast some shadows on these from these uh, objects.